Greetings and salutations, YouTube land. People back again with another unboxing video. Today I have for you an auction win from one of the latest things Zobi is trying out. So Zobi is one of the best autograph companies out there. If you watch my videos, you've seen quite a few things from them. And recently they've started trying out something new where they're doing auctions on Facebook. I think they do them on Thursdays. They last about an hour or so. They've had, I think, like 15 or so lots up. The cool thing is, I was able to get this at an incredible deal. The bad thing is, well, number one, once word gets out, which I'm not helping my own cause, but hey, I do it for you guys. Uh, prices are going to go up as more people start getting into the auctions. And the other thing that's, uh, the auction wasn't run very well, I must say. If you've never done it, videos on Facebook inherently have lag. It's just built into it. What most companies who run auctions do is because the text, like the chat, goes faster than the video. So they will put in, like, you know, 30 seconds left. 10 seconds, final bid, whatever, into the text so everyone can see it, and it's clear on their end when people bid. The show we didn't do that. They weren't listening to us at all in the chat when we kept telling them and begging them to do it. So it was very difficult because I put in a bid on something, literally when they started the 10 second count, and the lag was so bad that it was already over on their end, and my bid didn't count, and it should have. And unfortunately, whenever we'd say anything about the lag, they'd just say, Well, close all the tabs on your browser! And it's like, I'm watching on mobile. There are no tabs. This is all on you guys, not me. It's you. And unfortunately, they just wouldn't listen, so... I missed out on literally, like, three things that I should have had, because... Like I said, it wasn't well run. Hopefully they listen. Hopefully they improve. Alright, so you ready to see what I managed to snag? Let's get ready for the unboxing! Shop, thank you. So the cool thing they did is if they had extras of some of the stuff... Don't need it. They would sell them at whatever the auction price was. Unfortunately, everything I wanted, they didn't have extras of, so that was a bit of a bummer. Let's see. I think this is just my invoice. Yep. Right, you ready to see who it is? It's Moxley. Yeah, unfortunately, I wanted a Dean Ambrose one that they had. I, that's the one I should have had, and they just, yeah, gotta let it go, but this was a really good deal. I only paid, like, 14 or 15 bucks for this, and it's, uh, JSA certified, which that right there is probably as much, if not more, than what I paid for the photo, so that worked out well. I do have one of him, but it's actually larger than what I usually collect, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. But I wanted one of just him. Like I said, I was really hoping to get the uh, Dean Ambrose one because I've been wanting one of those. But Debs the breaks. So yeah, um, make sure you check out the uh, Facebook page. They list all the lots ahead of time, which is cool. So you know, you know if there's you know if it's all anime crap or something you just don't care about, you can skip that week. Try to time it when to tune in. Hopefully they can make the necessary improvements because it's a really good idea. The only thing that stinks is it goes up against like two other ones I watch and I'm running out of devices. Hey, and if you enjoyed this, shit with that thumbs up. Anything to say? If you got anything cool in the auctions, any questions about it, hit me up down below. You know, I love to hear from you guys. Ding that bell so you're notified whenever my videos go live. Hit that subscribe button over here so I don't miss any videos. So it's be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes.